guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video on my channel, Hair Licious If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe so that you guys are updated on hair loss and hair transplant content as well as updates on current hair loss treatments in the pipeline. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys an update on the highly anticipated Kintor Pharmaceuticals GT20029. This is the world's first topical androgen receptor degrader to ever be on clinical trials for the treatment of androgen alopecia. And it's currently being developed using Kintor's proprietary proteolysis targeting Chimera, also known as Protec platform. And it basically works by degrading and targeting the AR protein via the E3 ubiquitin ligase pathway. So to kind of put it in simple terms, this Protec platform in GT uh, has three parts, a recruiting element that binds to the AR protein, an E3 ubiquitin ligase recruiting element, and a link that connects the two. And when the three parts come together, ubiquitination breaks down and degrades the AR protein, which blocks the AR pathway and eventually prevents hair miniaturization. And because of this, you know, Protec has also been continuously uh, been developed to degrade a variety of cancer targeting proteins and also other disease causing proteins. And you know, this process has been shown to have good curative effects and also clinical efficacy on a variety of diseases. So a few weeks ago, Kintor released their phase two clinical trials for GT in a press release. The results were pretty positive. Phase two clinical trial was a multi-center randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study designed to evaluate the efficacy and safety of GT20029 for treatment of male androgen alopecia and to determine the recommended dosage for phase three clinical trial. This trial involved a total of 12 clinical research centers in China. The primary endpoint of this trial is the average change from baseline in non vellus target area hair counts after 12 weeks of treatment in comparison to placebo. Safety assessments included adverse events, laboratory tests, subjective evaluations of the topical medication and dermatological assessments. The trial enrolled 180 male androgen alopecia patients divided into once daily and twice weekly dosing cohorts each with control groups dosing placebo and experiment groups receiving either 0.5% or 1% doses. And the results showed that after you know just 12 weeks of treatment, the 0.5% daily application of GT20029 group showed an increase of 16.8 hairs per centimeter squared from baseline, which was about 6.69 hairs uh, more than the placebo group with statistical significant results. Now the total area hair count of GT1% twice application per week group showed an increase of almost 12 hairs per centimeter squared from baseline, which was 7.36 hairs uh, more than placebo, also yielding statistically significant results. For the twice application per week cohort, the study indicated a dose response relationship uh, among different doses of GT. I think the odd thing about this study was, as well as Kintor's KXA26, you know, pyrolutamide, was that they had some really high counts for placebo, despite the fact that there was a statistically significant amount of growth from baseline relative to placebo. Uh, regarding safety, you know, GT demonstrated good safety and tolerability with the incidence of adverse side effects during treatment comparable to that of the placebo. In addition, you know, there were no adverse sexual side effects that were observed during the trial. The 1% uh, twice weekly dosage of GT20029 was identified as the optimal dose level in phase two clinical trial and has been recommended for phase three clinical trials for male androgen alopecia in China. And based on the results of phase three, you know, the company will actively deploy subsequent clinical strategies for GT20029, such as initiating a phase three clinical trial in China and also a phase two clinical trial in the US. So, you know, overall pretty optimistic news because both doses of GT were statistically significant, you know, 0.5 and also 1%. It resulted in hair growth. And the more interesting aspect about this study is that it indicated a dose response relationship among different doses, meaning that either a higher concentration or frequency could very likely result in better hair growth potential. And although they are proceeding with 1% concentration twice a week for phase three, uh, I'm not exactly sure why they didn't consider testing other doses and frequencies, especially if you know they did see a dose response relationship. There obviously would need to be kind of like that sweet spot with these concentrations where there's gonna be you know, maximum efficacy with minimal side effects. Uh, but then again, you know, it just kind of seems like they've determined with the 1%, you know, twice application a week. Uh, but who knows, you know, maybe they're going to be able to tweak up their frequency. Uh, it's definitely nice to, you know, only have to apply something twice a week as opposed to twice a day. Maybe the AR uh, degradation will have a compounding effect over time where you can eventually get by with just applying it, you know, once or twice a week. This would be somewhat comparable to that of finasteride one milligram because finasteride had about 12 hairs per centimeter squared 
compared to placebo. Uh, the thing to note here is that GT works in a different mechanism of action. So if you guys were to stack on the treatment with existing antiandrogens, you know, growth stimulants, 5-AR inhibitors, it would provide the best efficacy in terms of hair loss prevention and regrowth. Uh, this by no means is going to be a cure to hair loss for obvious reasons, but rather it's more used for maintenance and, you know, in the event of additional hair growth, um, you know, there's, that's, that's pretty much is going to be like an added bonus. Um, it's also going to be beneficial for those who are experiencing adverse side effects from medications like finasteride or dutasteride because apparently GT doesn't really go systemic or at least not to the level that is going to cause side effects. And remember that, you know, GT was only a 12-week study, so longer-term studies could very likely, um, at least in my opinion, you know, have better results. This is something we have to wait and see in phase three. Typically, we want to see some, you know, something at least 24 weeks, if not longer. Uh, GT also had a good safety profile without any adverse sexual side effects. But then again, I do want to highlight that this was still a relatively small population study of just 180 subjects. And, you know, a longer study is to be expected for better and accurate results. Now, once they do go to phase three clinical trials, I hope to see more information also on pharmacokinetics as well as to, you know, how much GT2029 and also its metabolites. Um, even if it's to a small degree, um, actually, you know, I actually want to see how it goes systemic as well as measuring serum levels prior and after just to kind of see how long it stays in the body after a certain number of period. I just feel like there's just no way that it wouldn't go systemic even to a small degree because being a topical that gets across the skin barrier, there has to be some level of exposure to the bloodstream. And this is also the same case with, you know, KX8, uh, K, KX826 and also, you know, pyrolutamide. Um, you know, top gun, um, you know, finasteride and dutasteride. All in all, it is relatively good news. Not crazy as I expected in terms of a much higher hair count, but overall, you know, phase two clinical trials was statistically significant without any adverse side effects. So this is still going to be considered a win in my book. Um, we will have to wait on phase three clinical trial results, but once I hear back, I will let you guys know. Uh, but do let me know in the comments what you guys think of GT2029, if you think it's going to be a good alternative or even a good treatment for fighting androgen alopecia but that wraps up this video guys thanks for watching and i will talk to you guys in my next video take care guys